agency is one of the most important things out there. So you can do and say whatever you guys want because you are your own person. And if anything that I believe in, it's that people can do what they want because free agency is the most powerful thing that we have as human beings. Be able to choose for ourselves, choose happiness, choose the job, choose the you know spouse you want to be with. Choice, your freedom to choose how you want to be and how you want to act is paramount. So I believe in that. Be positive. I'm trying to teach you guys that. Lift each other up. Why do you want to drag each other down? Out of all the good, funny, you know, possible things in that video that you could have commented on, why do so many of you find the, immediately find the negative thing? Like, oh, I don't like that. I'm going to comment on that. That drags you down. The, by you guys yelling at that girl because she's trying to promote her song during a parade. <laughs> that pulls you down. That brings you in a bad mood. That upsets you like... You know, if something like that upsets you, maybe you don't agree with it, you can like, oh, that wasn't, maybe she shouldn't have promoted her song during the parade. But you don't have to like ridicule her in the comments. I don't understand that. Like, come on, you guys. Lift each other up. No matter if it's somebody you see on a video that you don't know, your friend, your family, just, you will feel better inside. I promise. Give back goodness instead of trying to find the littlest thing to pick out to pull somebody down and I know that's human nature I I know because I used to do it too I remember years ago watching some video you know I had this specific I can't remember I wish I knew the video specifically but I remember thinking to myself why did I pick that one thing that one thing out of that whole video that was a great video but there's this one tiny thing that I found it was like oh that's bad because of this and I like was sitting there storming away on the comment section I'm like, T -t 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 -t. I'm like, wait a minute, why am I, why am I picking out the one negative thing? Why don't I focus on the positive things? Because if that's who you are, if that's your nature, to find those one thing, that one small negative thing, and then point it out, then you are going to be a less of a person. You will feel worse about yourself. If you don't know who that is, that's Shay Carl. I watch his videos pretty much every day, and I saw him talking about some negative comments in his videos in today's vlog actually I'll leave a link in the description below just so y'all can check it out if you want but you know I, I pretty much agree with them you know I don't understand why people are negative and I just want to talk about it for a bit because honestly I can relate to it in a way um I went through some shit sophomore junior year of high school and I'm not gonna say it left me like an evil person or it left me like an evil villain or something like that um, I was pretty much borderline a pessimist, I guess you'll call it. Um, just for example, you know, let's say we was in math class in high school. You know, I was a smart kid in math, science. I could pretty much learn anything in high school. You know, it was, it was a gift, I guess. And let's say a kid that never passed the test came out and said, yo, I'm going to get an A on the next test. You know, at the time, the process that would run through my head is this dude know he about to fail that test. You know, he never tried to pass before, you know, it was just going through my head like, why would you try now? You know, you're not going to pass the test, you're going to fail, especially to come out and say you're about to get an A on it. Child, please. You know, that's the process that would run through my head simply because I believe there is a fine line between optimism and lying to yourself. <laughs> you know, and there still is a fine line, but, you know, I used to call people out on that. And I just realized, not now, but a couple years ago when I got to college I realized you know that's not the way to be that's not the right way to be you know the process that should have ran through my head is yo I'm about to make sure you pass this test I'm a smart kid and I can help you out you know that's what I should have thought but like I said at the time I wasn't like that I wasn't trying to hear it um I'm trying I wasn't trying to hear nothing from anybody to be honest because um I didn't want to help him out simply because nobody ever gave me any help you know that's where I grew up you know I had my family and everything but still I always helped myself simply because I didn't want help from anybody you know, I have pride issues. If you're on Twitter and you follow me, I said a long time ago, you know, I have pride issues. I don't like help from anybody else. But at the time, combine my pride issues with a little hint of arrogance, with a pinch of pessimist, you know, you got an evil person that didn't want to help anybody. Basically because, you know, I never got help myself. I figure, you know, if I could do it, he can do it. And that's not the way to live. <laughs> you know, I look back now just thinking, you know, I must have felt horrible doing that. And that's what I look at when I see people hating on YouTube. I'm just wondering, you know, why would you be like that? Why are you that type of person to try to bring somebody down? And I just pretty much scared for the future. You know, this generation, 
most of these kids are like what 13 to 15 and they haven't matured yet you know when i was a freshman in high school everybody loved me because i didn't act like a freshman <laughs> no that was a good thing but now i don't know everybody's acting like kids grown men acting like kids on twitter um little kids i mean they're supposed to act like little kids but still like when are they going to mature you know people get older but they never grow up i guess j cole word to j cole but um like I said, negativity, if you're a negative person, one of those people that just hate for no reason, even if you're a fan of mine or you're watching this video and you usually just troll the hell out of people, I just want to know why do you do it? It's not the way to live. Even if you're a negative person towards yourself, being negative towards yourself is the worst thing you could ever do. No, believe it or not, Jay Carl, the dude you saw at the beginning, I'm going to put up a picture of what he used to look like. And I want to bring this up because he's in the same situation as Wings of Redemption. Um, back then, you no, know, he was a big dude, um, a bigger dude, and he wanted to lose weight simply because he didn't like the way he felt, or he just believed that he needed to get smaller, you know. And he didn't lose weight being negative towards himself, you know. He came out and said, "I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna stick to my goal." And he actually ran a marathon, you know. Mad respect for Shea Car running a marathon, and. I want to bring up Rings of Redemption because I'm not trying to take shots at him, but when I see him trying to lose weight, the one thing that sticks out is how negative he is towards it. Like, oh, it hurts. Oh, I don't feel like doing it. Oh, I'm just making excuses. <laughs> you know, that's what it is, a bunch of excuses. You know, I know I'm kind of being a hypocrite because I need to get in the gym, get a little muscle on me, but still, you know, we're not talking about me, so chill out. <laughs> nah. But um, like I said, Rings of Redemption, he just seems to focus on the negativity and what he can't do. I think if he actually just set a goal and just ran with it, he'd be able to do it. Because him and Shea Carl, I think they were about the same. Something. Nah, Shea Carl is smaller, but still, you know, they're both pretty big. They were pretty big dudes. You know, Shea Carl is pretty big. And at a point, you got to realize that it isn't healthy to live like that, you know, so... J. Carl did what he had to do. And Rings of Redemption, he could do it too if he wasn't so negative. That's, just go back and look at his videos, man. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, I just want to know why do you think people are so negative? Um, I'm not really sure. I've been trying to figure this out for a while. Um, that, that beginning video just stuck out to me. And I felt like I need to talk over it. Because just like Shay Carl, I don't understand why people are negative either. So anyways, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.